What's going on dreamers? My name's Acer and in this video I'm going to show you how to store multiple numbers in a single variable. So why would you want to do this? Why wouldn't you just store one number per variable? Why would you want to put multiple pieces of data in a single variable? The reason is because there is a limit on the amount of persistent variables. There is a limit on the amount of persist in dream variables and that limit is 128 as of this video it will be it's been confirmed that it's going to be increased or changed somehow to give us um, more data storage options but currently it is 128 um, most games that's more than enough uh, easily it's more more than enough in RPGs or strategy games specifically where there's a lot of data that you need to store and save, it's not. You need to be as efficient as possible with them. And the way to do that is to store multiple values in a single variable. So, okay, you know you need to do it. What about an example? Well, one example is my RPG that I'm making. In this RPG, uh, you, you can have a mount. You can have a mount. And um, that mount has different stats and different different numbers that needs to be saved about it so that when you come back into the game, you still have the same amount. So if you see in the top, um, in the top this number, 56,479.0, this number represents four different pieces of data. The 56 is the level. That's the mount's level. The 47 is the mount's health. The 9 is the mount's rarity. And the point zero represents whether or not the character is on it. So I'm able to store four pieces of data in a single variable. It would be functional, functionally equivalent if I just stored all those four pieces of data in, in four different variables. But I'm choosing to store it in one, so I have three extra variables, persistent variables, to work with. Just to clarify, the amount of variables, um, not persistent dream variables, bar variables, but the amount of variables in general, you can go up to technically like 10,000. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, so that's one example of, um, of actually saving multiple numbers in a single variable. Um, so let me show you how it's done. So here it is, how to store multiple numbers, in this case seven, in a single variable. Uh, it looks complicated. It really isn't. It's just some math. It's just some math. So let's go over it. Um, let's just go left to right. Or uh, let's demo it first. Let's demo it first. So if we play, you'll see that the input is seven different numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's coming from here. The saved variable is 1,234,567. But we don't really care about the entire number. We just care about what number is in each position. Now, these seven numbers have been combined into one, as you can see. And the output is just these seven numbers from one split back out into seven. And you can see we are playing time, and if we drag this, the save variable changes, the input changes, and the output changes. Uh, and it works for all of them. So we, we have individual control of each position. Starting with the far left, we have the input. We have the input. Now, you see that the numbers are integers, but these are decimals. All I'm doing is multiplying by 10 in this number displayer. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just because it's easier to slide the slider if it's a decimal. Um, that's, that's all. You can input any numbers you want into these, into these nodes. Oh, and by the way, um, this is the chip. So you would most likely definitely delete this chip and this chip and just use this center one. Um, this is where the value gets uh, combined, saved, and split. Um, so I, we might as well, let's go over the output now. It's literally just a bunch of numbered players. That's it. Uh, no, no multiplying, no multiplying happening here. Um, all right, so let's go through the main event. Let's let's actually let me actually show you how it works. So how does it work? Let's 
Um, let's look at combining first because in my opinion, that's easier. The way we combine these numbers together is with multiplication and addition. So you only see adder calculators here, but that's because we're doing the multiplication um, here in the like within the within the chip. So before I show you like literally how I do it, just like let me talk about what we're doing. So we need this one to be all the way to the left. We need just this th in the millionth in the millionth place. We need the three to be in the the hundredth place. Four to be the ten thousandth place. Second four uh, to be in the thousandth place place, et cetera, et cetera. How do we do that? We just multiply. We just multiply by 1 million, 100,000, 10,000, 1,000, et cetera. Then we just add all the numbers together. It's, it's really, it's relatively simple. And this is how we do it. We take the first and second number and multiply them by 1 million and 100,000 respectively. We then add that to the third number, the third number being multiplied by 10,000, uh, then we add that to the fourth number, being multiplied by 1,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here, we don't multiply it because it's already in the right place. Uh, it's, a, it's an integer. It's already in the ones place, so we, don't, we just have to take it in and add it. And we get our number. We get our number. I'm going to put this back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Okay. And as you can see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the input is seven different numbers. The out, uh, sorry, the save variable is a single number. So we are effectively saving seven one-digit numbers in this variable, which is right here. All of this is pointless if we can't get the data back out. So it is currently stored in a single number. We need to break it back up into seven individual numbers. Now, this math is a little more difficult. Um, let's look at the one, the first position, and the, the seventh position, the seven first, because those are the easiest. To get the one out, to get the one out of the number 1,234,567, it's relatively simple. To do that, we need to make the one into the first place, into the ones place by dividing by a million by dividing by a million so that's what you're seeing here we divide by a million now what does this do this is the result one point two three four five six seven now dreams can't handle that so it's going to be one point two three four but um anyway all that matters is the one is on the left side of the decimal place and all the stuff we don't want is on the right side of the decimal place then all you do is round down. Don't round. Don't round up. Round down. Because if, it, if the number stored is, for example, 199, if we, so 1.99, if we were just rounding, it would go to 2. We don't want that. So we need the round down to get rid of the numbers, to get rid of the numbers to the right of the decimal place. And there we go. So we've turned this, sorry, uh, we've turned this into one. How do we get the other numbers? Now let's look at the ones place or the seven. Uh, this is even easier in my opinion. This is even easier. All we need to do Literally, all we have to do to get this 7 is take the remainder after division of 10. What does that mean? If we divide this number by 10, what will the remainder be? 7. Because 10 evenly goes in to this number. See? So it's 0. 10 evenly goes into this number. If this number, if we add 1 to this number, 1,994,560, if we add 1 to that, the remainder after dividing by 10 is going to be 1, which is our number.
right? Which is our input. One, one. So to get it back, again, we take the remainder after division of 10, which gets us our one. Great. So those were the easy ones. Those were the easy ones. Now the middle ones. These are the most annoying. These are the most annoying, but it's the same process for all of them. So I'm just going to go over one, one of them. Let's go over this one right here, uh, the fourth position. So four. Um, first off, I'm going to put these back to one, two, three, and four, just so it's easier to talk about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rather. Okay. So we're looking at the fourth position now. We're looking at the fourth position, the thousandths place. How do we get this? We need to do it. We need to get this number out in two steps. First, we take the remainder after division of um, whatever whatever this is plus a zero. So this is the thousands place. We want the remainder after dividing by the ten, by 10,000, right? Because we want this number. We want to get rid of the one, two, three, and we just want the four, five, six, seven. So if we take the, the remainder after division of 10,000, we will end up with the thousands place and lower. So we'll end up with four, five, six, seven right here. Four, five, six, seven, point zero, zero. What's next? We need the four on the left of the decimal place and all the other stuff we don't want on the right of the decimal place. So to do that, we just divide by a thousand. Now we get 4.567. Uh, I know it says 4.57, but it rounded. All we have to do now is round down. All we have to do now is round down and we get our number four. It is the same process for the rest of the center ones. Just take the remainder after division of one place higher. So for example, for two, it's in the one hundredth, sorry, it's in the one hundred thousandth spot. You would have to take remainder after division of the mil of million, one million, because that's one, one spot over, and that gets rid of the one. Then you need to get rid of the three, four, five, six, and seven. To do that, we divide by whatever position this is, which is 100,000. We divide by 100,000, which puts the three, four, five, six, and seven to the right of the decimal place. Once it's to the right of the decimal place, all we have to do is round down. Great, so that's how you do it. That's how you do single digits. So you're probably wondering, well, how do you do double digits or triple or quadruple? It's really, really simple, guys. It's the same thing. I, I can do it live for you here. Um, it's trivial to do to do like 67 here or 12 here. So let me show you. Th I'm going to show you 34, and I'm going to do it live. I'm going to show you 34, and I'm just going to try to talk my way talk my way through it. Um, so 34, 34. Well, first off, we need to actually input that number, right? So we have the, um, the third position here and the fourth position here. We don't really need the fourth position anymore. We only need the third, and we're going to store two numbers. So instead of to 0 0.9, we're going to go to 9.9. .9. Remember, we're multiplying by 10 in the number displayer. So this is actually 1 or zero, I guess. It's actually zero to 99, okay? Um, so, so now what? Now what? Um, 34 was right here. You know, one, two, three. It should have been, it, it's right here, right? It's right here. So we need to multiply the number, let's say um, 34, I guess. Let's just do the number 34. Sure. We need to multiply the number 34 by whatever this place is. Or no, actually, it's this place. It's this place. So a, a thousand, I believe. Um, we need to multiply the number 34 by 1,000. So um, we should probably reconnect this adder. And if we play, there you go. It's that easy. So notice how this one's a little messed up. There's your number 34 right there. 
So again, all I did was change. Well, I got rid of position four. You probably should have got rid of position three, but it doesn't matter. Get rid of one of the positions. Um, input it into the calculator and then just multiply that number by whatever you need to to get it into the right spot. In my case, 34 times 1,000 is 34,000, which puts the number right here. Okay, so we're, we're combining it correctly. How do we get 34 back out? Um, well, first, we want to get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, because we don't need it. We're not using that anymore. Um, great. Maybe we extend this over in anticipation of getting a two-digit two digit number. So now we need this row of logic to not only get us three, but the four. So we, we want to get 34. How do we do that? Well, first, it's the same process, guys. First, we get rid of the left side. So the numbers to the left of the 34. Then we get rid of the numbers to the right of the 34. It's the same process. We're going to take the remainder after division of what? Of whatever this spot is times 10. So this is the 10,000 spot. We want to we want to take the remainder after division of the 100,000 of 100,000 which we already are. What's next? Then we want to have the 34 on the left side of the decimal point and the 567 on the right side of the decimal point. To do that, we need to divide not by 10,000, by 1,000. So that'll put, well here, I can show you. Right here, that'll put the 34 on the left side and the 57 on the right side then all you have to do is round down. And as you can see, it's already working. So now we're saving a two-digit number. It's the same process, guys, for a three-digit, four-digit, etc. Get rid of all the numbers on the left side, then get rid of all the numbers on the right side. To get rid of the numbers on the left side, you use remainder after division. To get rid of the numbers on the right side, you put the number you want to take out to the left of the decimal point, you want to take you want to put the numbers you want to get rid of to the right of the decimal point then you want to round down so that's it that's everything you need to know um this scene will be on the dreamverse uh and i will save it as is actually i will i will save this as is uh <laughs> live and the gadget is i think it's called like seven in one or something um, both links will be in the description, but anyway, the gadget is also going to be on the dream reverse. So guys, if this did help, I would love to, I would love to hear how it helped down in the, in the comments. Uh, if you need additional dreams help, I stream dreams on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, if you need even more help, I, I have a discord and I also have a Twitter. Uh, both links are down in the description. Guys, I really hope this helped. This has been a requested tutorial from the community for a while, so I'm really glad I could get this out here. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. I just wanna dance